right, math nerds, let's listen up here. One of the problems with math in uh, documents is accessibility. You can imagine as a screen reader goes across reading text and then suddenly runs into some complex equation, it's going to read it probably fairly literally, which is going to sound like nonsense. So uh, the, a company called TextHelp is working on that problem on how to create that kind of uh, information that is accessible to the blind and visually impaired. And I'm talking to Rachel Cruzel from TextHelp, and she's going to describe the problem to be solved because she has lived how hard it is to create this kind of content. I have, absolutely. So the uh tool is called Equatio, and what it's doing is it's helping create accessible and digital math and STEM content. Prior to this tool coming out, it's been a challenge in our field to do so, to ensure that the content is accessible for people with disabilities. So what we can do with this tool is, typically, we'd be trying to create it accessibly using a Padlet-based tool, which can take time, sort of that hunt and peck method. Instead, with Equatio, it's based on keyboard um, strokes as well as being able to have word prediction built in to be able to quickly and easily reference and add in equations instead. So I'm uh, going to jump to the last question I asked you mm -hmm. when we did our pre-interview, which was this is a this is a web-based tool. Yep, it's a web-based tool. Works in Chrome, also is desktop as well, so it can work on the Windows desktop or the Mac desktop and goes into a bunch of different places online and on the web as well. Did you say Linux as well the first time? No Linux. Okay, but it's got, but it's, it's a Chrome extension, so. Correct. All right, so uh, we're going to take a look at this for those who are uh, are watching. She's going up to a, uh, it's kind of a panel that has come up from the bottom of her screen in Chrome and it says math. And she's going to start typing an <laughs> equation here. Type us something. So I'm going to type in something like the speed of sound. So I can type in the word SP or start to type the word speed in. And on screen here, it's going to bring up this prediction of what I might be trying to type for speed of light. So instead of having to know the equation or having to type in each individual character in a matter of seconds with just typing an SP, I can grab this equation. Which Hang on, she's got me. speed of, it shows speed of light, speed of sound, spring potential energy, speed of a periodic wave. There's a whole bunch of them in here. We actually have uh, recently added over 235 physics formulas just in and of itself. We're constantly- Nice, for all that string math, theory I'm working on. There you go. Yes, exactly. Then I can simply and easily hit the enter key. My equation is in here. Any so it says C equals 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Yep, and then from there I can easily toggle through the equation. I can change any of the variables, any of the numbers, if and when I'm ready. Okay, we're not ready to change the speed of, <laughs> speed of light, so we'll keep going. Correct. I'm thinking if you were using like a quadratic equation and you wanted to change a variable there. Go ahead, Anything sing the quadratic like equation song for us. You know you want to. Rachel. I do want to, but I'm not going to. Maybe for the outtakes. Okay. If and when you're ready to go, you can click the insert math button wherever your cursor is on your screen. It will insert that math into the Word document, the Google document, the third-party website, the learning management system. Now, that's an image, though. Now, how, did, how does that help the blind if you just turned a text into image? Well, that's a good question. So with something like a text-to-speech tool, by adding in an image, we're able to have that text-to-speech tool read the alternative text because in the alternative text, there is actually the spoken title, the spoken language of how it's read, as well as we do put the math ML in there as well. So hang on, how did it know the alt text? So she just brought up the alt text and it says C equals 3.00 times 10 to the eighth power M over S. How did it get that? So we have it written in such a way, our software, um, I'm not our product manager, but it will automatically put the alt text into so any well, of I could have written an equation of my own and it would have done that. Correct. It would have done that. Wow. And MathML I had never heard of before, but uh, explain that to us again. What is that? So MathML is math markup language, and it's a way for content creators to create math that is done in a way that makes it easy to hear, read aloud, specifically for people who are blind or low vision. Our software... Never heard of that. Why do I not know about that? <laughs> Got to go read up. It's a good one for sure to know about, but I can take this equation that I've used that I entered in the speed of uh, speed of light, for example. We do have this copy as button, which allows me to actually export this, not just as an image, but in LaTeX, in MathML, in that spoken text. And then I could take this 
MathML version of it, I could plop it into something like a Word document, and I could then export it to something like Duxbury to get either my Nemeth code or my UEB Braille for someone who she's is now make, low vision. She's now I making know. up words. I don't know why. <laughs> she lost me at that term. <laughs> Basically, if we have to create digital math or STEM content for someone who is blind or low vision, this tool will help with that process. Normally, it's really time intensive and laborious to do. This will typically cut down that time in about two thirds. So nice. I used to do this work myself. You know the pain. Uh, I know the pain well, and I know that we do not provide enough access for students who need support. And if it's a pain this. and it takes a long time, people won't do it. If it's easy and, and comes along for the ride, they will. Bingo. Exactly. Very cool. So equatio, you're going to have to spell that for the audience. It's just like the word equation without the N. E-Q-U-A-T-I-O. Okay. And how do you sell this? So we sell in a variety of different ways, typically into the education space. Uh, we can buy, do single licenses for individual learners, do group licenses for a group of students, or what we see a lot is, again, that having it for every student, teacher, in higher ed, K-12, because really it's going to create accessible content everywhere for every learner. So why wouldn't I just want it as a regular human writing equations, though? You could absolutely use it as a regular human writing equations to be more accessible. I mean, that, that's where we ought to be going is what I'm thinking. So absolutely. what does an individual license cost? Um, typically about 100 bucks a year. Shh, that's not bad. I really did not, I don't think there's anything in this entire conference for $100 a year. <laughs> I think we just found the least expensive tool. This is really, really interesting. Thank you so much for showing this. This is uh, something my audience will definitely get a big kick out of and, uh, and maybe some people would start using it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Us. And, and the company is, is Texthelp. Texthelp. And where would we find them? Uh, Texthelp.com, T-E-X-T-H-E-L-P.com. Simple enough. Thank you very much, Rachel. Thank you. Well, I couldn't get Rachel to sing, but she did give us two more really important tidbits after uh, we stopped recording. What did you just tell us? So any person can go on our website, techstop.com, and get a free 30-day trial to try the tool out. And if you are a K-12 through educator, you do uh, qualify for our free for teacher license, which means you do get the software for free for use in your school or district. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. That's better than a song. It is better than a song. And it saves you all from my singing. <laughs>